Hey everyone, in this tutorial we're going to be taking a postcards template and increasing the column width by 100 pixels. So in the postcards app I've already created a template and it looks like this. And what we have to do is export it so we can edit the HTML code. So to do that press the export button in the top right corner, press download as zip and make sure you have the host images online option selected so that you don't have to download and deal with the images yourself. I've already exported my file and I've opened it in a text editor. So this is what we will be working with. And next we will be editing the code to increase the template width by 100 pixels. So I've opened my HTML file in the browser and this is what it looks like. So this is just the template we just created and so the changes we make in the code will be updated in the browser. So if I go to my text editor, the first thing we have to do is change all the parts where the height or the width is defined. So the first place it's defined is in a media query called min width. And if you scroll down to around line 145, you'll see this line of code, media screen and min width 621. This makes it so the minimum width is 621. We want to increase this by 100 pixels. So I'll change this to 721 and inside there is another width define and this has to be increased by 100 pixels as well so I'll change this to 720 pixels and that's the first part the second part that needs to change is in the body HTML so there are a bunch of tables because it is a email template and tables are how emails are rendered so there is one table right here, which sets the max width, which is right here. So you'll know that it is this table to change and not the other tables because the other tables only have their width set to be 100%, but this one has a exact pixel size. So it is set to 620 by default and we want to increase this by 100. So I'll change this to 720 and also make sure you also update the commented code because this is how internet explorers and microsoft office clients will render the or will read the styles so make sure you also update here where it says 620 make that 720 and also here the same thing i will save my file and back in the browser i will refresh it and as you can see the entire width increased by 100 pixels but in the sections with two columns it is a little off so next we will be updating the code so that the columns increase with the total container increase so next the section that needs to be updated is the header so you'll know that it's the header because it says begin module header seven and we want to find the element where an exact pixel size is defined so it's not here it's not here it's not there it's not here it is um, I think it's here yep it's right here so this one says max width three three four pixels and so we I already know that this is the left side column um, but you should know because the exact pixel width is defined right here so since we increased it in size by 100 pixels and this is two columns we want to increase this by 50 pixels so this becomes 384 and also make sure to update the commented out code above it as well and so that's the first column and the second column is right here 
So this is 214. So this becomes 264. And the same thing with the commented out code. And if I save this and I go back to my browser and I press refresh, we can see that it has updated in the way that we want it to. But this image can also be updated as well. So to go back to the code in this image tag right here, we can increase the width and the height values by 50 pixels. So I will change this to 236 and this to 419. I will save it, refresh the browser, and the image has been increased in size by 50 pixels as well. So next, all that's left is the footer area. So back in the code, I will scroll until I find where it says footer. This is the call to action footer. So this is where the footer starts. And we will do the same thing as we did just before. We will find that the <clears throat> max width is defined right here. So this becomes 330 because we have to increase it by 50 pixels. And so this is the first column and the second column is right here. Also, make sure you update the commented out code. So change it like that. And this is the second column. So we want to repeat the same thing. Turn this into 330. I will save it. I will refresh the page. And there we go. We've successfully updated the columns by 50 pixels to match the total template increase of 100 pixels. And this is how to increase your template by 100 pixels. Just apply the same type of steps to whatever size you want to increase it by, 200 pixels or 300, whatever, and divide the columns by how much you have to increase it by. And yep, that is everything for this tutorial. Until next time, see you guys later.